Anthony, where do we stand right now and how much supply could get disrupted from this situation? Hi, uh, good afternoon. Uh, well, we stand at the moment that they're still trying to free up that tanker. Uh, they are, are doing some operations. They're called. They're trying to refloat it, which means uh, get it off of the of the grounding. Uh, but as you said, that the tanker is kind of crossways across the canal there, um, and from some of the images that we've seen and some of the reports that we've gotten from people uh, in the the port area, uh, that the, the bow is is stuck into uh, some of the the banks of the canal. So that looks like it's a problem uh, getting it out. And uh, we're getting some speculation, of course, you know, what damage has been done to the ship. Um, once they do get it straightened out, uh, it's, it's questionable as to whether uh, that will have to be towed out of the canal, uh, further slowing down some of, the, some of the backup, or whether other ships will be able to pass by. Uh, normally, um, it, it's a one-way uh, canal there with ships uh, in certain points pausing for the others to pass by. So uh, that looks like it's going to extend some some delays there. Uh, in terms of what passes through there, as you mentioned, it is yeah. a vital waterway. Anything from 8 to 12 percent of a cargo of a crude oil of LNG passes through that yep. canal. Uh, Kaylee and Anthony, Guy. Anthony, let's just talk about that in a little bit more detail. Like how much traffic is already backed up? Uh, at what point will they decide to start rerouting cargoes around the Cape? Uh, I, do we have an understanding yet of the duration of how long this is going to last for? Uh, the short answer is no, Guy. Uh, we don't know when they're going to clear it up. We have heard various reports through the day uh, as these operations were going to, to get the vessel freed up that it could be a matter of hours, it could be uh, during the day, um, because some of those initial efforts didn't seem to have been successful. Uh, we don't really have an idea when it's going to be, be freed up. So far, we don't really have any reports of uh, ships going in a, in a different direction. Uh, a lot of the uh, vessels going from Europe towards Asia, uh, sometimes that's a route for North Sea crude going into Asia, a lot of those will be going around Africa anyway, uh, so they wouldn't necessarily yep. need to reroute. So it's a lot of that Middle Eastern oil that might be coming up uh, to Europe that could be blocked in the canal. There are pipelines there that they could rely on, but still uh, purchasers will have to shuffle to get other ships to pick up those pipelines at, at Mediterranean ports. So still some confusion to come.